الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Can we have the lights uh, sort of little, maybe open up on the uh, on the audience? It seems like a black environment. You can't see further. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day and a wonderful gathering. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless each and every one of you who's really taken their time and come and joined here at this conference. As you may have seen the flyers and the signs and the ads, 42nd convention. Alhamdulillah, this is only the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are here for the past, this retreat, this annual retreat has been going on for 42 years. So we thank him subhanahu wa ta'ala and we thank you, the Muslims, the Muslim community of America for their trust, for the confidence that they have really given us. We are very thankful to the membership of ICNA who has done this marvelous work over the years in communities after communities. It is that trust that translates to this confidence and the representation. My brothers and sisters, I'll be inshallah very brief as we have these welcome messages from the entire Muslim community leadership here, as you will be, inshallah, listening and hearing from other community leaders and the leadership of the Muslim community. But I just want to share with you a few things quickly, inshallah, in the few minutes I have. Now that you're here, <clears throat> make sure you take advantage of every single service that is being offered. Make sure that your time is well spent. Make sure you're able to get from this conference the greatest benefit, inshallah. Similar to past years, we continue to add more programming. We continue to add more interesting topics, topics that really attract the diverse community needs of the Muslim community. If you just go through the program guide, you start to see the diverse nature of the programming. Programming for all. Every age group, every ethnicity, all the beautiful colors of the rainbow of Islam are represented. This year, if you haven't downloaded the app, I would highly recommend that you do that because it's gonna really make this daunting task of following the speakers and the sessions really easy. So I really want to thank our program team for doing a, a great job in creating this app and having it available to the attendees of the conference. My brothers and sisters, <clears throat> just a few things to uh, kind of take a note of. I think uh, for many years I've noticed this and I think a lot of people uh, get into that uh, conversation. So understand the physical map of the building where things are happening, as since you're here, and alhamdulillah, most of you were at the, uh, the prayer area. This is where the main sessions will continue to go on. There are close to 125 sessions happening over the next 48 hours. So 140, 125 sessions in 24 hours, minus the eight, 10 hours of sleep. So just imagine how crammed, how much information, how much knowledge is crammed in the next two days or three days. So download the app, decide which sessions you're going to be really going to, take full advantage of the topics that you're interested in. And as I said, there is something for everyone. Uh, so in terms of the main hall, this is the main hall, obviously you're here. The youth conference that is happening in parallel, it will be held on the fourth floor. The ballroom on the fourth floor is where the youth conference will be. So 
just orient yourself, make sure you are aware of the different locations. The third floor is where the reception, the registration area is, and there's a number of uh, parallel rooms that are kind of spread out from one side to the other. So familiarize yourself, take a moment and understand where the room numbers are and where the bazaar area is, where the food area is. There are food vendors outside as well, so take advantage of that. There are some good, really good uh, cuisine out there, so uh, check them out as well. Uh, stop by the bazaar. I was just kind of glancing through and saw lots of very interesting products. So uh, definitely stop by the bazaar, support the vendors uh, who have really brought in some very interesting ethnic products as well as products that are really appealing to a large segment of our uh, membership here. Similarly, I, I would also recommend that understand where the babysitting area is. Uh, there is that service available to you. If you have small children, please uh, take advantage of that. So you are in the session paying attention and you're able to kind of follow through and the kids will have a safe and a fun environment to enjoy. Uh, similarly, if you're like me and you really enjoy beautiful recitations, there is a session where the Qurra, there are, we have invited this year many Qaris who are, whose recitation, inshallah, will, will, will be very beautiful and you'll enjoy it, inshallah, immensely. So I highly recommend that you stop by. If you get a chance, look them up in the program guide or the mobile app and you'll see it, inshallah. Um, those of you who are painters, enjoy painting. There is a very special session that is dedicated for painting. So you can have show your creative juices, right? So stop by that session, uh, check them out. I believe they have a small nominal fee for that. But the, you, you really, those who, I have not attended that last year, but this was added last year, and this year, inshallah, I think it's gonna be even better. Uh, <clears throat> Matrimonial has been part of the convention for many, many years. So if you're here, make sure you register for the matrimonial session, and you're able to take advantage of the service uh, to the Muslim community. There's a blood drive, I was told just uh, about an hour ago, there are actually many non-Muslims who have registered for the blood drive, who have, were excited about this opportunity to really give blood and uh, help those who are in need. Uh, midnight basketball is a, kind of a constant feature of ICNA mass conferences, and this year is no exception. So we'll have it uh, tomorrow night, I think it's from, one, from midnight till 4 a.m. So all those uh, youthful juices can, inshallah, have a place uh, to be practiced. Uh, <clears throat> don't miss out the youth conference. As I said, it's on the fourth floor. This year, the sisters have uh, arranged for a graduation ceremony for sisters only. This is a sisters only session. It will be as well uh, tomorrow. I think it's on the third floor. Uh, sisters who have been attending Quran classes for the last four years. It's been an intensive Quran class in English and Urdu languages. And after four years, and almost a, it's like almost a, a four credit hour uh, class. So it goes on throughout the year. So the graduating class will be receiving their uh, certificates and degrees. As well, the ICNA Sisters Online Institute have some graduating sisters who will be also uh, receiving their diplomas, inshallah ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, ICNA mass conventions have really attracted a diverse set of population. And this year is no different. And as a matter of fact, this year we are doubling our ethnic sessions. We are doubling the number of sessions in the Arabic language, Urdu, Turkish, Bangla, Spanish, and Malays. So for the first time, we're actually adding sessions in those languages. So people who are from that background, who enjoy listening uh, to speeches, poetry, and others, they, they shall have a way to communicate and listen to some beautiful presentations. My brothers and sisters, I hope and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward each and every one of you I hope you have a wonderful conference, and on behalf of ICNA and MASS, I welcome you to Baltimore. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.